Hey everyone, Alex here from Dive Design, and I've got the new Dremel DigiLab LC40 laser with me today, and I'm gonna get you guys up to speed on this awesome machine with an overview, review, and demo. Okay, so here's everything that you get in the box with your new LC40. Of course, you get the laser cutter. You also get the two-in-one water and air pump. You get the hoses that run from this unit to the laser cutter, and you also get the exhaust hose, not to mention the quick start guide, user manual, and warranty information. So we've had our laser for about four or five weeks now, and overall, we're pretty impressed. Most importantly, software is intuitive for novice individuals who've never used a laser before. So let's get into this review. So after our initial setup, we were able to access the online software that runs the LC40. We were able to import our files and select whether it's engraving or cutting, and we were off. Our favorite part is how quick a job can be started and completed. From flipping the switch on to flipping the switch off, the ease of use is far superior to other desktop lasers on the market. The idea that anyone with or without experience can use this is very true. We had a member of our soft goods team using this on his own in under five minutes without any help. Better than that is the fact that I can load in a plethora of materials wherever I want and instantly have the laser take an image of what's on its bed. That instantly translates to the software, then allowing you to place and orient your file anywhere on the laser's bed. What really ties all these awesome features together is Dremel's incredible customer service. The laser is an awesome product, but paired with Dremel's excellent customer service, it makes it the entire experience the best possible. The answer is yes, you should absolutely consider this laser in your search. I am always the one for due diligence, and I have no regrets with the DigiLab lineup whatsoever. Okay, so my favorite part of all is showing you all how this thing works, so let's get into it. Okay, so our first step is to take our chosen material and place it on the bed of the laser cutter. Next, what we want to do is move the head of the laser over the material and take the provided puck from Dremel and make sure that the height of the laser is adequate to the new material. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to this side and unscrew the little knob that holds the laser tight. Once we've done that, we're now gonna lift the laser up, place the puck directly underneath it, gently let it come down and tighten the knob. Then you're gonna slide the puck out and place it back wherever you store it. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how the software works and how to set up your cut on the laser cutter. Okay, so what we're gonna start by doing is going over to our laser cutter and making sure we're connected to the internet. Once we know we are, in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you'll see an IP address number. You're gonna enter that IP address number in your web browser in the search bar and click enter. That's gonna take us to Dremel's online laser cutter software. What I like to start by doing is going up to import, which will drop down a menu, and going down to capture. What this will do is allow the laser to move around and take an image of what's on its bed. We're gonna go over here to next once we've confirmed that our laser is at the right height above our material by using the puck. And it's gonna go ahead and start taking an image. Once the laser has completed taking an image of what's on its bed, we're gonna click done. Then it loads it onto our tray here. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to over import and click on file. And we're gonna bring in the file that we wanna laser cut. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna laser cut our dive design logos. And I'm gonna click on that. And I've exported that as a PDF. Now this menu gives you the option to import everything from engraving and cutting, or to just engrave, or to just cut. I'm gonna go ahead and click cut. We're gonna click continue, and we're gonna let it load. Once it's loaded, you'll see the image here, and it'll allow you to move it around and position it, rotate it, and so on, as well as scaling. For demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna position this centered and enlarge it just a little bit. What's nice here is I'm able to go in and select pre-entered materials and what I have on the bed is eighth inch acrylic. So we'll click on eighth inch acrylic and that'll automatically change the settings over here. Now what's nice is if I wanna score this, I can just move this notch over here and if I wanna cut it, I can move this little slider to the back to the left. So like I said, we've already pre-selected acrylic and eighth inch, and that's already selected the right heat and speed settings as well as depth settings. I don't recommend adjusting these unless you know that you need to increase the heat a little bit or lower the speed for materials that aren't preloaded into Dremel's database. So once we've done that, we'll just click away. We can go up here and click on time for an estimate of how long this laser cut will take. It's giving me five minutes and 42 seconds, which is great. I'm gonna come over here, click on start, it's gonna tell me what I'm doing, which is cutting. We're on acrylic, and we want absolute positioning because I know I have the material in the top left, and we're gonna click send to cutter. 
Once we do that, I'll meet you over at the laser cutter. So we're going to go ahead, check off all the requirements on the screen and double press the button below to begin. Okay, so now that we've got the lights off and you've seen what this machine can do, go out and do some research on the LC40 and see if it's a good fit for you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.